Okay, acrylic class part two. Um, I did go ahead and uh, blow this dry because I have all this paint out and I wanted to be able to use it before it just dried up. If you're at home and you need to wait for this to dry, uh, spray or spritz with a, um, a little mister and uh, spray your palette. Put another plate on top, you can wrap a rubber band around or put uh, tape uh, in the, you know, kind of like what we do in class. And um, that paint should stay for you, uh, allowing this to uh, completely uh, air dry. And uh, if I splash any water on it, if it's semi-dry, you know how it lifts the paint off and stuff. So uh, be very careful whenever um, you're doing uh, working. If you continue to work uh, while it might still be a little bit uh, wet. Okay, so here's our dolphin. I can already tell in a couple of little places I'm going to need to um, either paint over some of this area and then maybe uh, touch up the background. But as this paint dries on my uh, palette here, um, the uh, I have the color that I'd used before so I can uh, match that and uh, be able to uh, touch up the background anything that you need to do in uh, you know that way so we're going to uh, look at the colors that we've chosen uh, for our background this might be a little brighter than what's in uh, the picture but you know me and bright colors I like that but I did decide to uh, pull out a little bit of uh, aqua color this is a bluish green I didn't have the actual um, turquoise that I was looking for, but if I mix the colors uh, together, I think I'm going to be able to get this uh, little bit brighter um, color here. It's gonna use a lot of white, obviously, but it does have a touch of, of uh, uh, teal. So if you have teal, uh, feel free to use that. Otherwise, you can just um, make that using blue and green, right? So, um, we're going to, I want my filter, there it is. Um, I like these little um, filbert brushes. I have a few different uh, sizes. I think that one's too small. Uh, and I'm going to make a teal. I'm gonna put a little bit of green. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, the lighter blue. Mixing that together gives me this really pretty uh, teal and then it obviously is going to need some white so I'm going to end up with this color so hopefully y'all can see that I'm going to put it on the picture look at that we we matched it almost exactly well now that I've rubbed it in it's a little it's a little bit but you can see on my brush I've got some dark on the back side and some light on there so we definitely need to get all of that color um, mixed and blended together and we need to make um, you know quite a bit of it so we're gonna paint him this color which is mostly his um, stomach area and everything and then we're gonna gray the color down a little bit for the medium tones and then we're gonna put just a little bit of black along the edges of his fins of course we're gonna have to let all that dry so while that's drying we'll put a little bit on his nose we'll do his eyes blah 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 and then we'll um, put those white uh, light streams that are coming down on him um, uh, last. So we need to make up a, a good little bit of this. So I'm gonna get some of the green, mix in the blue. You can do this with a, um, a palette knife as well. And it's easier to get off than, you know, say with a brush. And then we're going to lighten that color quite a bit. Remember, acrylic dries a little darker. So if you get the color just the way you want it, add a little bit more white. I think it's a little touch of green. So I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Because he's very blue. Now this is just uh, one way to do this um, 
style of uh, painting. Um, I like to paint the base, kind of get rid of the white, and then uh, glaze the shadows and the um, uh, paint the bright highlights, you know, kind of last. So we're going to um, just start painting him in. That is looking very aqua. I think I might add a little bit more blue. And a touch of the other blue, just a touch to kind of purple it a little bit to go with the water that he's in. Let's get all of that blended in. Yeah, I like that better. <coughs> now, painting this on, you know, I'm, I am going to uh, lose a lot of my um, drawing lines and stuff, but, um, you know, I still have the dolphin here. I can easily... Um, easily make him, um, you know, draw on top of this once it's dry. If you want to go along the darker edges by adding just a little bit darker color, just so you don't lose all of the um, lines that you have, you can add a little bit of that color where you know you're going to, um, where you're going to have the uh, darker lines, and they're kind of like lines in a chin or something, you know, they're just lines on his body where he bends. And that way you don't have to redraw everything. You just kind of know where those are and you can go back in and put that in. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing over on this fin. <clears throat> kind of tells me where that fin is. And then I go back to filling in. You always want the tip of your brush to follow any line that you're trying to create. And it seems like I'm not hitting the line. But if you look at this picture, you see this white edge? That's the front side of the flipper and the back side is, or the underside is this side. So we're going to leave that tiny little bit of white because it's harder to paint over um, the dark colors with white than it is to just leave a tiny little line um, there. I'm just painting the bottom of uh, my canvas. Just give it that finished look and um, kind of continue to build up. these colors, look at the canvas very carefully as you're working that you're filling in all those little white spaces in the canvas. Um, a lot of artists will uh, paint more than one uh, coat of gesso over just to make sure that they get the smoothest canvas possible so that you don't have so many little dips and things to fill in because it does use more paint. and. Um, 
the paint is what's a little bit more expensive. Of course, you can buy the more expensive canvases and the linens and stuff that have a, a softer tooth to them than the uh, I guess student grade canvas or whatever and there's a little bit of a line there that is his um, mouth on the other side This is kind of like his, um, I don't know if you'd call it a beak, muzzle, maybe, I don't know. It's um, definitely a little bit of a, you know, it protrudes away from his face, and so you, uh, you definitely want to make that look uh, round. Now along this side, if you don't want to paint this completely in, you can leave some white streaks um, uh, and then just go back and paint the white and blend that into it or whatever. Or you can just uh, paint it in solid and um, and paint the white on top just kind of glaze it in thickly and then soften the edges so I want to follow that edge nice and smooth Now this is the uh, white part of the top of the fin here, so I am skipping over that area. Take your time, do it well. As this is starting to dry, I can see some of the white popping through, so Keep going back over, especially while you have this color mixed up. And uh, <clears throat> as remixing this color won't be as easy as just um, because we use multiple colors. So I like to um, try to mix it more than I ever think I'm going to need. Um, now the top up here, you can add a little bit of uh, darker color, or you can add just a little bit, uh, you know, gray it down a little bit, uh, however you want to do that. Keep looking back at your uh, reference photo. You know, kind of follow the curves of his skin. It does dip down right in here, and it almost looks like that might be where his blowhole is for uh, breathing. So it's not perfectly round across the top. There's a dip. And you'll see that in your photo as well. Oh, that's a different blue than I was using.
this is actually his mouth up here. So I thought that's what that was. So I'm going to put that mouth in and a little bit of uh, the darker blue. <clears throat> Just a tad blue is all I wanted. Just to kind of help me not have to redraw everything, you know, perfectly. And we're going to add that grayish color on there. And we're just kind of blocking in his face at this point. I think this is just a shadow. But we can paint that in. Just using a little bit darker to kind of map out where his parts are. That's his his muzzle. Leaving this little bit of white. Um, that's where a highlight's going to be. Or you could just take that and mix it in with that lighter color. Uh, make it a little whiter. And just go ahead and paint it in now. It's a little bit blotchy. That's no, okay. As he is uh, you know, not absolutely perfectly smooth. He's got little rings and different colors and stuff like that, so. Now you can go back and see the little tiny white dots. Hopefully you still got some paint left. I barely do. Um, and you can kind of pick those out. The, the color is going to look lighter, uh, but it will dry the same because it's, um, you know, it dries darker. Clearly it dries a little darker. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, white and just kind of blend it in. This little highlight stay way up on the, the point in order to get it really really smooth there and uh, So 
we've got him, uh, you know, pretty much filled in. If there is anything else that uh, pops up on him, we could probably cover any little um, uh, parts when we do the brighter uh, blue across here and across the back, the blacks uh, in here, and um, you know, changing the colors from the from the sides. So we're going to clean out our brush. You can use a flat brush, a round brush, whatever um, you happen to have. This is just blocking in. Um, uh, the reason I like to use the filbert is I can use it like a flat brush and get a large area, or I can go up on top and get a nice, just using these few little hairs in the middle, get a nice line around the outside. Um, where a flat brush, I'd have to keep them all the bristles down um, because if you use just the corner, you could accidentally press down and your line would get a little bit thicker. So that's just, you know, one of the reasons I like to use the filbert. Get a little bit more of this background covered up. Well, my brush was just a tad wet, so you'll notice that it picked up. picked up um, a little bit of the, the paint that was there. That's why we need to let it dry really well in between, but that side is uh, gonna be a little bit darker anyway, so I can just go ahead and add a little darker blue into that space. Get all the water out. Push that line back. Okay, well let's start in uh, with our darks. And um, you are gonna need, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. You're gonna need a little bit of black or um, if you have indigo, which is a deep, deep um, dark blue, then you can grab that. And because we're using blues, uh, we're using blue in our painting. We don't want to use Mars Black. Mars Black is warm. Uh, so use Ivory Black. If you only have Mars Black, that's okay. Just add a little bit of blue to it. It'll be fine. Y'all know how to get around those different little color variations. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of uh, black because you hardly need any whatsoever. At this point, if you have a um, angle brush, you can do the, um, uh, you know, where you load just the tip here and then the rest of it's just damp. So I'm going to wet my brush. I'm sure. Went into the dark, dirty one, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna wet my brush, but look at all the water that's in that brush. I want to get rid of most of the water. I want a damp brush, but not a, like, you know, drippy, soaking wet brush of any, in any shape, form, or fashion. So, um, we're going to take uh, just a tiny bit of water, <coughs> excuse me, and just work up in the edge um, the black so there's only <coughs> excuse me only uh, black in um, the tip of the brush <coughs> Wow Oh my goodness. I'm going to go get a drink of water. I'll be right back.
Okay, so we only have black in just one side of the brush. And we're going to come inside the dolphin's body a little bit and uh, in order to make this um, underside of his fin, and this is just one way of blending, guys. You can. You could do the color blends and all, but now I'm going to add just a touch of the um, the darker blue with the black, so it blends like this into the brush, so that I can create uh, the darker side of that fin. It's actually going to blend into the um, <clears throat> the body like that. Now, um, I've lost this particular line, but from wherever I'm at the top, I'm gonna come down and then curve out. So that's not, um, uh, from wherever this top is, I'm gonna come uh, down and then curve away, doing the same type stroke with the gray color <clears throat> and the, um, the blue tones, and I'm just gonna soften that. No water whatsoever. And I'm thinking that black may be just a little too harsh. So I'm gonna gray that black by adding white in the exact same way. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a little, little bit of white in the tip. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue, and I'm going to create a, um, the same thing I did over here with the blue and the, the black. And I'm gonna lighten that black. It's a little too harsh. So we're gonna gray it down. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You may have to reload your uh, brush in between. and then soften those colors into each other. And um, you can always soften a line on the outside as well. Just following that line really softly. Oops, went outside the line. <clears throat> and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but instead of having to paint it twice, Let's just go ahead and mix this up a gray and um, um, and then we can dip from that. So I'm going to not use my um, angle brush because I want to use that. I'm going to take a little bit of black. That's a lot of black. And I'm going to dip a little bit of white just in this tip because I want to be able to control how dark the gray goes. If, it, if I just put white in the black right away and it was uh, too dark, then you know it still looked black, then I'd have to add more white and then more white. I just need uh, to be able to control what color this ends up being. So there we go, that's a nice good gray compared to uh, what's in our picture. You want to just uh, you know control that. <clears throat> so we're going to pick up the um, the gray on the tip and the um, blue just a little bit create us a um, a blend, right? And then we're going to follow down the other side. I 
like using a angle brush and doing this just because I can go back and forth and still have that uh, light color and the dark. This fin needs to be, these fins need to be a lot darker. Um, so, whoops. So we're probably going to have to go back and, um, and uh, add more blue into these uh, fins anyway. We might even add a little bit of black on the on the outer edges. That's pretty pretty light. Should be a darker fin. So I'm just uh, putting some color in the middle and then blending it into the colors that I just put down because they're still wet. So I can do a nice uh, blend. And then these areas where uh, the strokes of the <clears throat> brush, no water, right? And you're just gonna soften those edges. Just kind of push them back where you want those to be um, into there. But I think I'm liking this um, color option a little better. So I'm going to uh, add that uh, dark I'm just up on the tip of this side now. Doing the same thing on this side. Because this uh, fin is a lot flipper. That's what they're called. Flippers. Uh, is a lot darker compared to, say, the body and stuff. As the dolphin jumps out of the water, you actually see the the underside is, you know, practically white. So <clears throat> really should let this dry better between layers. So we're gonna let those go. And um, do this shading here and here, which is just, you know, so that the dolphin can bend. Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that ultramarine blue just in the tip and, um, you know, create that line effect. And uh, go underneath him like this. Make sure there's no water on the barrel part uh, or it'll inevitably run down your your bristles and leave a big wet spot on um, on your piece. You don't want that. Now I've cleaned out everything from the brush, no paint uh, whatsoever, and I'm just softening the top line so that it doesn't look really harsh. Um, going across there and uh, just blending that in a little bit doing the uh, same thing whoops I got that blue all the way down just touch blue That's about right in here. <clears throat> and then just kind of blending it in. And we're going to take um, 
<clears throat> the medium uh, blue color that we had out for our water and I am going to add a little bit of white to it but it's going to be darker than it needs to be darker than the water and so I'm going to add just a touch of the um, ultramarine blue and I'm going to um, paint these uh, dark striations uh, that are happening on the sides of the dolphin and I am going to leave a little bit of a a gap to because um, that's where I'm going to put the white and it's harder to paint white over uh, the dark so we're just going to kind of put in some of our uh, uh, lines that are on him on this side and we're going to gray up that color so way too much black now I'm going to take that same color and I'm going to gray it up by adding just a little bit of black. Maybe a little more. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, back to the blues. <laughs> a little bit of the dark blue, a lot of the light, light blue, and then we're going to add a little white. And we're going to gray up that color. That's much better. And um, we're going to add these... Um, the top part of his head, the front part of his his uh, muzzle, and um, some little gray striations down the side as well. So we're just going to kind of put some of these little um, marks in on his side. And remember, the white's going to go on top, so they don't have to, you know, absolutely be perfect. Um, and you can blend blend them in a little bit if you want, you know. It's, not that big of a, a deal. We're going to gray up the top of his head. Don't forget there's a dip in his head. There in the middle. <clears throat> and coming down to the uh, muzzle part. Not enough water. If you're not covering the the color that's already there, you don't have enough water, you're kind of dragging that acrylic across, uh, you do need to add just a touch of water. Don't uh, say, I mean a touch. Just barely touch the surface of the uh, water. And it's darker on the outer sides. So he is now becoming a different color than the, uh, than the background. Really look at your reference photo and see what you see there. <coughs> Excuse me. Because if you look, the side of this face is bluer here. And then underneath the eye and all along, um, it's almost like the forehead is causing a, a shadow. But it's a very bright blue shadow. And it's kind of going around the eye and down along here. This top part is grayer and uh, more green than underneath here or on the left uh, side as well. So in those areas we're going to just use the the blue I don't even know if we're going to need to uh, um, you know to tone it down in any way but I do need a different brush it's gonna be hard to do details with a a flat, so you need a little a little round. Huh. This is um.
color in that brush. <clears throat> Just gonna soften that color out a little bit. We're going to go back to the grade color and the area around the eyeball itself is actually this kind of grade color. You may even want to darken it just a tad. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to darken this gray just a little bit. You go inside the pupil a little bit, it doesn't matter, that pupil's black anyway, so. So he has this bright blue around his eye. You might even add a little bit of white to that blue. And then it comes down to um, this shadow from his forehead onto the um, part of his face right before the muzzle comes out. I'm just blending these colors together a little better. Get that gray moving around. I'm gonna have to mix more of that. You could actually use a little bit larger brush than this little bitty one for this part. <clears throat> I'm just going to lightly tell myself where his uh, mouth is going to be so I can uh, figure out the rest of the drawing. Nothing wrong with having the pattern put back in. <clears throat> there is a little bit of a shadow right here of um, his upper part of his muzzle to, um, to the bottom half, and that is definitely a brighter blue. I'm going to go back to the um, filbert brush and put these blues in over on this side, going around this muzzle, down along here, and filling this space in. We are gonna add some of the grays as well. And it's not just a solid color. It's light reflecting around his uh, round body. Soften that line through there. And this is a little bit uh, more difficult of a project. So take your time, guys. <clears throat> I was actually going to do him uh, look really big. I thought I had a 20 by 20 canvas. And uh, I, I mean, I actually do, but it's kind of messed.
messed up. So I just stuck with the eight by 10 size. You can do them whatever size you want. paint as thick as I want it to because I'm starting to run out. So I'm just going to make more of that um, gray color. Remember, just add the black in a little bit at a time. too much water.
fixing up a very, very, very pale <clears throat> blue to do these um, little striations that are happening on his nose. <clears throat> and underneath his mouth. You can use your round brush if um, you have a problem staying on on the point with the filbert. So you're going to create these little little marks. There's a little bit coming down here to the end of his mouth. Some a little bit on his face. Little tiny, tiny one right there. <clears throat> this should definitely be whiter here on his tip. Um, you're just gonna be adjusting this uh, light blue color um, as you come around to the different areas. Now I'm just barely touching it over here because I want that gray to show through. I don't want it to be white right there. So um, I'm just barely touching the surface, uh, kind of help creating the, the shape of the head. And I'm just kind of following the direction that you see these uh, marks go. You know, you don't have to count how many there are, but the ones on this side go this way. These are going around, obviously, the other way. So um, some of them can be absolute white. Like this one right here on the forehead and this one on the uh, fin, flipper, whatever it's called. Uh, but you notice these are bluer, right? Um, so you're going to be adjusting that blue color. And if you want to put them all in that blue color and then come back and put the white on top, more power to you. That's actually going to work better because um, the uh, the lighter the color, the be the more the white is going to be true white. So... Um, so if you put all the light, it put all of the highlights as light blue, and then um, and then come back in and put in your um, your whites on top. It's even going to be better. You will need to have just enough water to get it to spread across the um, surface without uh, leaving those little uh, jig jaggy marks from from the uh, uh, the texture of the canvas. So when you get these whites in too, it's gonna show you kind of where you need to add um, some uh, uh, darker things because once you add the white next to it, you go, oh, that's not near as dark. So it is good to go ahead and get some of these um, light spots in. There's a bunch around what I think is the blowhole. And you do not have to measure, um, you know, exactly how many there are. You don't have to uh, um, count. Okay, there's 37. I have to put in 37. Remember, painting is not like photography you are you're indicating these little um, things that are happening in the picture but you don't have to try to you know capture every single part of that When it starts showing uh, the little texture marks and stuff like that, go back and get more paint. Whoops. And once again, I'm out, so. Mixing, mixing, mixing. It's what it's all about. And then just get it on the tip. Uh, 
you can also uh, soften edges um, you know with your smaller brush with a little uh, dampness to it um, so it doesn't they're not all you don't want them to all to look the same length nor do you want them the same width um, but you definitely want them to look like there's um, uh, I, I'm, I guess I'm just saying you need them to be a little bit more random than just uh, <clears throat> every one of them being the same distance apart, the same thickness, and all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and uh, practice all these different fine line uh, drawing with your brush. And, um, and help create some of these fun little textures that are happening within his, his, uh, the light streaming down him. <clears throat> On these smaller ones, I think I will go to the smaller brush. So a little bit of clean water. Get it just on the tip. I didn't get some finer lines with this smaller brush. You can even add in some grays. You can add in some blues. Um, this line that is starting to develop horizontally here actually kind of comes down and then up. So I'm going to push back some of the color. If it's still wet enough. It may not be. I'm just picking up color from underneath. So I'm just going to let it dry and then come back and fix that. So. Um, Lost a little color there. Put that back in. There isn't any reason you can't come in and stripe some colors as well. Um, you know, however you need to do that. So I'm taking the blue with just kind of barely any white at all, just a tad lighter than the original uh, color there. And on this other side, you can actually see that there's uh, blue, definitely these bluish highlights uh, coming into this gray. So I'm going to put those on top. Uh, there is whiter, whoops. Get just a touch of white. Yeah. Way too much. And just kind of blend that into that side as well. I thought this was going to be a fairly easy little project, and it's taken me a little longer, so if this ends up being a three-week project, that's fine. I want you to do, uh, do your best. Keep building up. Let it dry. Go back and look. See what else needs to be done uh, in each of the uh, parts. I think this is a super white highlight there, and then there's a super white uh, highlight in this space here. And then I'm going to blend it on around. Whoops, too much water. 
Let's hook that up. And then you just can do, just keep going as much as uh, you feel like you need to. And as it dries, you'll notice it gets darker. So you may have to come back in and, and put in some more um, lighter colors. I'm uh, trying to break up that colored part there. Um, you can actually come back and glaze a little bit more on the um, uh, stomach area of the dolphin. Now the dolphin's eye is actually absolute black. But if you look really close, you're gonna see that the eyelids are a darker blue uh, before that, or a little bit brighter blue, excuse me, before the gray spot around the um, the eye. There's like a pupil, then there's this gray spot, but then there's an eyelid in there that is definitely a bluer shade. And then that gray spot around the eye. <clears throat> and it definitely comes in at an angle like this on this side to make that gray area. We're gonna get our absolute black. <clears throat> Filling in his uh, eye. That little bit of blue around it. Um, he definitely doesn't have a, an eye catch, but if you want to put one, um, feel free to do that. Sorry. Can y'all see? I need to turn my. Uh, canvas just a little bit in order to see what I was doing there. That blue doesn't show up very much. So um, I'm gonna mix it up just a tad lighter than the actual blue so that it can you can see that eyelid being blue. You may not still see it very well. So we're gonna go a little bit lighter. There we go. And there's a little bit on the bottom as well. And to make that show up even more, how do you make a light thing show up? You add a dark next to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a darker, make this little area of his eye that is different color. We're gonna make it a little bit darker gray. Just so that 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 shows up. It's just an inset. You can actually do the blue, um, you know, make it a deep blue gray. And right above the eye is that brighter blue. So I think it was, is it here? I don't know. We're gonna have to make some more. Too much. It's hard to keep a tiny brush pointed if it's full of paint, so <clears throat> always um, uh, clean out your brush before you try to do a detail that is um, Um, 
you know, really fine, that you need really, really fine lines with. I am going to mix up our teal. So I have a little bit of blue, a little bit of this green, a little bit of this blue, and I'm gonna mix those together. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of white. <clears throat> so I can, uh, whoops, get a, uh, uh, some of these strokes to go away that are in um, the body. Oh, and I like that lighter color too. mind the strokes down in here so much especially being lighter I am gonna blend them a little bit clean up around this fin <clears throat> I'm just gonna push the light color that got over the darker part back away and it picked up a little bit of that dark because it's fresh fresher paint I'm also going to paint a little bit of a shadow on this back side of the fin here, just so that it kind of pushes it forward a little more. And, uh, whoops. I'm sharpening the end of this uh, brush in order to scratch in lines, a little fine uh, details. Like if the paint's really thick, you can scratch away like a little uh, bushes and stuff like that. <laughs> so I keep dipping this in into the water. Um, so I'm just going to kind of blend that up into the rest of that flipper, I mean the body behind the flipper. And um, there is a little bit of blue, oops that's gray, don't want that, a little bit of the uh, blue uh, going over the, uh, the flipper every once in a while. It's not like solid white all the way down. So we're going to add a little bit of color to that. Now you keep working on your dolphin until you are happy with it. Um, you may have put down the first coat and it was just perfect. And, uh, or I'm having to go back over and add um, more colors, more um, layers, lots of layers, um, in order to get the look I'm going for. I want him to look really smooth and shiny. He is not fuzzy or furry or anything where he's going to have a ton of texture. He should be looking like like a really smooth skinned and um, and um, all that. So make sure you're you're blending him to uh, to be very smooth. Uh, using the paint on paint technique, using a little bit of water, like I'm doing right here, just a little bit of water uh, to blend that darkness into the flipper. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of this color as well to the other side. See, it's not dark enough on this side either. Just kind of scrubbing it into the text, uh, the texture of the canvas a little bit. I don't want to create texture, so oh, got some water right there, so second layer of paint. Got a little into the background.
And then if you look at your picture, it's a little bit whiter as it goes into that body right there. So since I have some color down, I can just add that white right to that color and it should uh, blend with uh, no water. Just clean brush and it should blend that paint together. And then I want the strokes to go this way. Go across the body. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. There's a little bit of white in this space. So we're going to put that in, kind of blend it in to the canvas. All right, guys, well, I'm probably gonna call this done, and I want you to be happy with your piece, though, so make sure that you keep layering. You need to let it dry, and then come back another day. Uh, you know, feel free to do that. You don't need to uh, uh, fret over anything. This is, this is fun, easy class so I hope you guys enjoyed it I know I love painting and so be able to share my love with you guys is just awesome uh, I think this is absolutely perfectly striped apart and I want these to be uh, like larger areas so I'm probably going to paint over some of the white or just make them thinner um, you know, you can do the same thing. It's, uh, it's you know, up to you how you do your uh, piece. So that they don't look exactly the same um, throughout. Whoops, where that came from. Huh. Don't know where that came from either. And I'm going to paint some darker stripes right next to those whites. Kind of mixing them up a little bit more but I definitely want these whites to look a little thinner so I can uh, come back in and paint those in I want this one to be a little bluer as well I got a little blue on my brush all right I'm liking it now I know I tell you guys that the eyes really 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 stand out when they have an eye catch, but his eye is inset. But if you wanted to, this is very watered down with a little bit of blue into it. If you wanted to put a little bit of a, um, a kind of a dot into the eye, it gives it just that little bit of light. And since he is close to the surface, you know, for you to see all of these lines and stuff like that, you can add those little dots in if you want to. Well, I hope you had fun. And I can't wait to see what y'all did. Send me your pictures. I want to see how you transformed uh, this dolphin into a creative piece. Have a great day.